You are watching NCN. Hello everyone, it is a lovely Tuesday evening and I hope you all are doing great and of course I hope you all are having a great week so far. I hope you're being safe as well. For those of you who are joining us on our Facebook Live, be sure to comment down below and let us know what is going on with you, what is going on in your neck of the woods and what are you preparing for dinner. Now today we actually have a very interesting discussion happening and we're going to be discussing the National Adolescent Sexual Reproductive Health and Rights Essay Writing Arts and spoken word competition and I will be your host I am Daniela Araju now in studio with me today I have Shaquille Rodney the project officer at Child Link hi Shaquille hi. I also have with me Tiana Jordan the advocacy and communications officer at Child Link hi Good how are you doing today I'm okay <laughs> okay great and we also have Samuel Prasad and at Atalsi Hunt who are both participants of the essay competition how are you guys feeling I'm feeling all right. How was your Tuesday? Um, very boring until I arrived. <laughs> really? Yeah. What was it? Were you had nothing to do? No, not really, actually. What about you? Uh, I my day was quite interesting. I had I run a lot of errands and so forth, so I quite enjoyed my day. And today, is, I think this interview will just crank off really well. Hopefully, it ends on a good. So spot. you had a productive Tuesday. Yes, I did. What about you guys? Um, we had a busy day. It was busy day as usual. <laughs> okay, great. Um, now, before we get into, you know, the discussing this um, competition, I want to first say that I want to commend Child Link and, of course, the UNFPA for this initiative. I think it's a really, really great initiative. And I also think that it gives young people a chance to not only discover, but also nurture their talent and their knowledge as well. Mm -hmm. So kudos to you guys for that. But I'm going to start off with asking Shaquille the first question. Um, actually, no, I'm going to start off with Tiana. Tiana, um, can you tell us about the work Child Link does? Yes, um, definitely. So I know a lot of people out there, they still haven't heard or, you know, they probably don't know what Child Link or who Child Link is as an organization. We are basically a non-governmental organization that works towards the protection of children from all forms of abuse and exploitation. We uh, provide a number of services for children and their families. Uh, for example, trauma counseling, we do parenting uh, skills education, we also do reintegration work, so we support the CPA in reintegration of children in institutional, from institutional care to family-based care. We also work with children with mild autism, and we also recently started um, work with children who come into conflict with the law. So we collaborate with a number of stakeholders like the CPA and other civil society organizations. Okay, that's great. I think the work is very amazing. But as it relates to like getting these children, um, you know, getting in contact with these children, how exactly does that happen? Just in case the viewers would like to know, just in case they know somebody who is traumatized or somebody who's going through something, a child, how exactly can they reach out to you guys and, you know, how exactly do you help them after that? Well, we've had persons reaching out to us through our social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and so on. Our persons can also call us directly. Uh, we'll provide you with those numbers later down right. in the discussion. But um, what we do, we also work hand-in-hand -hand with the government to run the CACs, that's the Child Advocacy Centers, in the various regions. And what from those CACs, we would get persons coming to the CAC to report cases of abuse and so on. So from there, that's how the process moves forward. Okay, great. Um, now, on to Shaquille. Shaquille, um, can you tell us about what the intention behind the competition is? Um, the main intention is to start getting young people, especially the boys as well, to start speaking about sexual reproductive health and rights. Um, because from what I've known, we don't normally see um you know the young ones speaking about srhr so we want to make them aware and start speaking about it have them known about their sexual rights and so forth yeah so that's one of the main aim behind um the competition and it also opens um a room for children to you know network and just grow from there okay. and it's something we, we might do annually 
Okay, right. And what have you guys been doing so far in terms of getting children to register? Well, so far, um, we've been reaching out to like our partners and all the stakeholders within the various regions because we're based here in Region 4. So, you know, we are not, we don't have that capacity to travel to all the regions to get the information out there. So we're partnering with all the stakeholders. We're reaching out to teachers. We have our partners from the other grassroots uh, organizations that we contact. They would get the information out there to parents and to children and so on. We've also been doing a lot of work in terms of outreaches. So we went to Diamond Secondary. They had an activity there with some migrant children. So we went there, we got some of them to register and so on. We also did some work in Region 3 where Shaquille, he visited Freedom Hoop and he was also able to also get some migrants to register. So speaking of migrants, I know a lot of persons will probably be wondering, uh, these persons probably don't speak English, so most of them are Spanish speakers. So what we've been able to do to, in order to make the competition more inclusive is that they are able to, you know, submit their pieces in Spanish. So if they are doing an essay, they can write it in Spanish. If they're doing a spoken word, they can also do that in Spanish. And we, we will be having a translator to translate it for us. Okay, I think that's awesome. I really like the inclusivity. Um, what about the guidelines? Like, who, what are the guidelines for the competition, for entering the competition? Okay, um, so for the guidelines, persons could check our Facebook page. Um, or they could message us on WhatsApp. Um, information will be given at the end. But a few of the guidelines, um, when it comes to the essay part, we're looking for a b between 15 to 2,000 words. It must be original work, um, no AI, um, no plagiarism. We will be checking for those um, sort of stuff. Um, if persons have any dif difficulty, they could always reach out to us. Um, when it comes to the art, um, we're looking for like a 30 by 40, which is like a standard size Canva where they could use um, um, paper, like drawing paper. Um, and we're looking for original work as well. Um, persons are able to use paint, markers, pen um, to draw, and they must stick to the team. We're asking a person to stick to the team. Uh, when it comes to the spoken word, we're looking for persons um, between a three to five minutes um, would work. And we're asking if they could also submit the wording for that spoken word too. And we have, uh, just to let persons know, they don't have to do uh, just one uh, category. They could choose more than one. So, um, a child could decide to do essay writing and arts or essay writing and spoken word, vice versa. Okay, great. And just to um, share the theme with you guys, the theme for this competition is what behaviors and practices of adolescents, particularly adolescent boys, would contribute to adolescent sexual and reproductive health and rights in Guyana. That is very interesting. I think a lot of people don't really focus within these areas as it relates to our youths. So that's a very, very interesting to topic. Um, but I want to move on to the participants that we have here. But before that, can you guys give like an average of how many participants you guys have so far? Uh, we have over 100 right now. Really? Yeah, check, I checked this afternoon. About, so, about 100. Oh, wow. Okay, mm. that's interesting. Okay, over to the participants. Um, we're going to start off with Samuel. Um, Samuel, can you tell us about yourself? Uh, well, as I said before, my name is Samuel Persson. I am 13 years old and i have recently registered in this competition some of my hobbies would include painting writing and also looking at anime and those hobbies have been able to bring show me some light into this competition so with painting it helps me find the way through which i can express myself or my thoughts on this topic in this competition Okay, great. What about you, um, Atalsi? Yes, so um, I'm currently 17 years old. I'm a student in Lower Six at Queen's College. Um, I um, founded Youth Breaking Boundaries, which is the um, adolescent branch of Child in Guyana. And I also um, founded Ramona's Dynamic. And I think that with this much connections, I think I would not only be able to be able to voice an impact being you know having so much exposure to many people but i think also i would be able to spread a better word on this competition to others okay great and what do you guys what are your overall thoughts about the competition well for me personally i think it's a really great opportunity because it can show us topics which are often shunned and not spoken about in society 
I think as Samuel said, um, it brings light to topics that are shunned on in society, but I like the fact that it if you can talk about it from any gender, I think that many, when it comes to sexual health and so forth, I think it's mostly spoken about in females. So I like the idea that they, you know, include boys and it's, you know, advocated or it's it's encouraged to write more on boys. Um, right. And so forth. right. And that's the thing, too. I feel like a lot of we, we tend to focus a lot on young women and young girls and what's happening with them and their changes and everything else but we don't really focus on young men and that's yeah. why I think this is very unique I definitely commend um, the, t the theme overall but um, I'm pretty sure you guys would have registered for the competition what mm -hmm. categories did you guys um, cho choose to compete in? I've chosen to only compete in art as I find it easiest for me to express myself in. What about you? Um, I chose the essay writing portion. I think that speaks to me. I think I'm able, you know, with the large um, work comb that we have, I think it, you know, I'll be able to express myself to a great extent. Right. And are you guys like facing any challenges as it relates to the competition? Like, are you having problems with, you know, coming up with the ideas for the art or choosing the right words for the essay? Are you guys facing any challenges? Well, for me, I have pondered on some ideas which I would like to take out for my art piece. But what's actually left for me is to obtain a canvas for me to do it on as I can't do it on paper, per mm. se. Okay, what about you? Um, personally, I'm not facing any challenges. This topic has always been something that I'm passionate about. To have the, so to have the opportunity to speak about that, I'm really grateful for. So personally, no. Okay, and do you guys think that, you know, this competition is something that should be done annually? And if you think so, why? We'll start with Samba. Um, yeah, I think it should be done annually. As I had said before, this competition brings light to topics which aren't spoken about. And it's really good as it educates society on stuff that, as I said before again, are shunned and people don't want to bring light. Mm -hmm. I also think that the competition should be done annually. I like, as I said, I like the unique topic that they chose. So if every year we could do a topic that, you know, is one that is not usually spoken about, I think that would be very, very great. Um, and I like the idea that it includes a lot of people that are out there and especially teenagers and having them voice their opinions as they're usually the persons that suffer the most and, and don't feel comfortable opening up about compared to adults. Definitely. And you see, that's the thing too. And this is why this competition is very powerful because it gives teenagers the opportunity to speak in probably a way that they feel comfortable um, yeah. being an artist and being a writer this is a way in which you speak and you get to express yourself about topics that affect you about this team so I again I keep saying this I think this is a really great initiative and the theme is very much powerful um but have you guys told anybody like your friends your family about the competition and if so like what have been their response to, to it I've told uh, my family and friends and so about the competition and although I haven't received much feedback from those which I have had said that they're thrilled and excited to participate in so they can voice their thoughts and opinions on this topic. Yes, I have also shared with my friends and family. Um, I told through the businesses I mentioned earlier. So I'm um, usually in classes because I'm teaching chemistry and physics to students. So I told them and I encouraged them to write about it. And I could also give my feedback as their educator. So. Okay, great. And what message would you give to like other boys and girls that would probably want to compete in a competition? What message of encouragement would you guys give to them? I'd say you can express yourself, be free with how you want, as there are many different categories from you to choose from. It's very, uh, you have many different options for say, and it can be a bit harder for certain people. Some may not be good at writing or uh, like speech, but they would be able to express themselves through art and they can voice their thoughts on it through that way. Um, for me, I would tell them, um, 
uh, for them for me I would tell them that don't be scared to write up on about what you want I think um, it's inclusive it's open to a lot of people so I think you should be free and don't feel comfortable it's a safe space and I'm sure Childlink will take their suggestions and put it into practice so anything that you do will be um, well accommodated for all right definitely I want to go back to um probably Shaquille or Tiana. Can you remind us of what exactly is the um, prize for this competition? Um, so you don't have to go in details. You can just like, you know, give us a hint. Um, there will be uh, a lot of cash prizes and awards and mm -hmm. for the different categories. Mm -hmm. um, so we will have a first place for art, first place for essay, first place for um, spoken word and it triple downs. Uh, we'll also have a top 20. Um, so we'll have top 20 out of those uh, 200 persons that we're trying to target. Okay, so it's like almost everybody, they come out with something, right? Yeah. Okay, um, how would you guys feel if you be a part of this competition and you win? Like, you bring first place in art, you bring first place in comedy. How would that make you feel? I mean, that'd be lovely. I'd get... I mean... Who wouldn't enjoy a bit of a cash prize? It's right? summer, it's right? vacation, and you can enjoy yourself. And I think I'd personally very enjoy it very much. And uh, what would you do with the cash? I'd pr I've <laughs> actually been planning on buying more art supplies, as what I have right now is a bit limited, and I want in and I want to open like the different forms in which I can create art. See, he's a smart guy. He's an investor. That's good. From a young age, that's good. <laughs> What about you? If you win and you know you get first prize, what would you do? I think I'd be very enthusiastic. I would obviously put it back into the business I'm doing right now since we're low on funds. But um, even if I don't win, I still would be happy that I played a part in the competition and know that Childlink will be using my suggestions and putting it into you. So regardless, I'd be happy, but I would still invest like my um, <laughs> Definitely. It's very good to um, invest at a very young age. Um, can you guys Please remind us again about the guidelines for persons who are now joining us. Can you remind us again about the guidelines? For those of you who are now joining us, we are having a panel discussion on the National Adolescent Sexual Reproductive Health and Rights Essay Writing, Arts and Spoken Word Competition. In studio with me, I have Shaquille Rodney, the Project Director of Child at ChildLink, Tiana Jordan, the Advocacy and Communication Officer at ChildLink, and two of the participants um, of the competition. So back to you guys. Can you guys just remind the viewers of what exactly the competition is about? Yes, um, so we're hosting, as uh, Daniela said, a national essay, um, Adolescent Sexual and Reproductive Health and Rights, Essay Writing, Art and Spoken Word. Uh, they are separate guidelines for each category. Um, persons, you could find it on our Facebook page. Uh, you could message me on WhatsApp at 609-3669. Uh, when it comes to the essay writing, uh, we are looking for uh, 15 to 2,000 words. Um, we're looking for original work, no plagiarism, no chat GPT, and these other other um, AI software because we will be looking for that. And we just want original work and just to hear what persons have to say um, from their experience or experience from other people or what they've done during the research um, process when writing the essay. Um, any difficulties, they could always reach out to us. When it comes to art, we're looking for a standardized uh, Canva, 30 by 40, so it's not too big, it's not too small, so they'll have enough space to, you know, uh, put their information on there. Um, we're also asking if they could do like a small, maybe 150 words, just let us know what is it that they're trying to depict on that art, um, and they must follow the theme. Uh, for the spoken word, three to five minutes long. Um, once you've signed up for spoken word or you've chosen a category, even if you forgot to choose it during the registration process, persons could always message me on WhatsApp. Um, I will send them a link for a Google Drive where they could upload it because it needs to be sent in um, a M MP4 format, video format. Mm -hmm. Yes, and when it comes to art, um, I forgot that submission needs to be sent in a PDF format as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when is the due date for um, you know registration and stuff like that for the competition? Um, for the competition, the final submission day is on September 7th, but we're asking persons, especially persons in the hinterland regions, if they're having trouble submitting essay with the internet or their art or spoken word, uh, they could reach out to us by um, August 25th, um, and they could call my number or email email us. 
Okay, and can you tell me, like, when it comes to the theme of the competition, what exactly is the overall goal? I mean, I understand how important the theme is, but what do you guys intend on achieving by having persons, you know, submit art and essay, essay and spoken word poetry on this specific theme? What exactly is the overall aim? Well, um, I think the end goal is to, you know, give children that platform so that they can have their voices be heard and also to express themselves creatively. Um, sexual, reproductive health and rights, it's such an important topic. And like you would have mentioned, when it comes to this topic, you know, the focus is placed mostly on girls and women. And, you know, the focus isn't on boys and men and what, you know, how they are affected, the changes that they would go through and so on. So it's just to raise more awareness, um, give children that platform to, you know, learn more about their rights. And, you know, while they would be researching on this topic to maybe write their essay or to do their art pieces or even their spoken word. So while they're doing that research for that, you know, they're learning. Yes. Mm. Right, right. And what about the, as it relates to the um, other work that you guys do at Child Link? Aside from this competition, this competition was recently launched, right? So yes. aside from this competition, what are some of the other works that you guys do at Child Link? Well, um, at Child Link, we work with migrants. Like I would have mentioned, mm -hmm. we were able to do some outreaches with migrant children to get them involved in the competition. So we work with some grassroots partners or the um, civil society organizations like the Orchid Foundation, uh, Youth with Purpose, we also work with Potential Achievers, United Bricklayers in Barbies. So we would do training with teachers, training with police officers. We collaborate with the government, like the Ministry of Human Services and Social Security, to do trainings on, you know, when it comes to the protection and prevention of children from child sexual abuse. So that's one of our main focus. There are also a number of projects that we work on like we recently wrapped up the 1000 boys project which focused mainly on raising awareness of boys and you know that they can also be sexually abused and another project that we currently have ongoing is the crie project which is the communities responding in emergencies project which that project is mainly focused on working with migrants and also there's another project that we also have ongoing which is a drive project that's going to be focused uh, mainly on working with children who come into conflict in the law and diverting them. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. great. Great. Thank you so much for that information. And of course, thank you guys so much for being here. Um, for those of you who are now tuning in, if you're now tuning in, just another reminder. We are discussing the National Adolescent Sexual Reproductive reproductive sorry health and rights essay writing arts and spoken word competition and so if you know anybody between the ages of 11 to 18 if you know anybody between the ages of 11 to 18 who is really good at art who's really good at writing who's really good at spoken word poetry this is the competition for them to be a part of they can win amazing cash prizes and they can get an opportunity to voice their opinions express themselves through writing art spoken word poetry this is an opportunity for them to discover their talent to nurture it and to also nurture their knowledge as well and that's a very good thing with that being said i am your host daniela Araggio, and we will see you next time until everybody until next time bye